Hello, this is Corey with Frosty Fly here. Uh, today I'm going to share with you a pattern. Um, it's kind of a semi realistic stonefly nymph. Uh, in some of the tributaries of my area in southwestern Ontario, we have very big uh, black and dark brown stoneflies, halgramites, uh, and different mayfly nymphs to, to a lesser extent in those sizes, but we have a lot of big nymphs and uh, uh, insects in our river so this has been very effective this style color so while this pattern hasn't been tested um, I'm you know pretty positive it, it'll be a winner this spring here so we're gonna start off with a size 6 dry flying curve nymph hook from Hemingway's um, it's the H118 so that's the package there it's a three times long special bend four inch black nickel so we've got that in the vise we're gonna wrap some lead or lead free wire in the thorax area just to add some weight for thread we're using um, eight six aught uni thread in black so we're going to start off first by securing the lead a couple millimeters back from the eye of the hook so build a little bit of a thread dam hop back over I just start crisscrossing on the lead and tying it in some people use super glue as well that's something you can do then we'll build uh, another little dam in the back and then we're gonna take our thread back so about just before the barb of the hook. So for, we're going to tie in the tail for this. Um, you can use Stonefly Nymph rubber tails from Hemingways, or you could use uh, black goose biots splayed out in the back there. So I've got one here and they got a little tab on them so I'm going to align that tab into the center of the hook tie it down I try to leave a little bit if you tie it too close you kind of get it splayed up too far so I just leave a little bit not tied in just to keep it down a little bit. Okay, so then uh, we're going to tie in our ribbing material, which is going to be fine copper wire. You can use uh, fluor fluorocarbon or monofilament tippet as well. So last we're going to tie in our back. So this is the uh, wing button back. I guess you call them stickers or decals or so we're going to pull off a tail here and it's got a tab on the back right there so we're going to flip it around and tie that in to the center of the hook as well So now, so now that that's dealt in, we're going to dub up to about halfway down the lead. So I've got black hairs dubbing plus here from Hemingways. So I'll take a clump of that and then get a noodle going. So on the noodle, you can kind of taper it a bit, get a little thicker with the noodle the further down you go. And then we're going to start dubbing. So then I'd rather go a little bit lighter than I need to and make multiple dubbing noodles and multiple passes and kind of get more of the shape and profile than to 
throw it all on at once and Use dubbing wax to make it a little easier, moisten your fingertips as well. Okay, so our, when we put the back, it's going to cover that. So now we're going to push our back down. The adhesive will stick there. I'm just going to make sure I've got dubbing flatten a little and then I rib and on the uh, on the back there's kind of segmentation lines so I'll usually try to follow those as I said you can use kind of the tippet material for a little more subtle look but I find the copper it adds a tiny bit of weight not a whole lot but it also adds a bit of flash it'll you know catch catch the sun in the water depending on the conditions of the day and flash a little bit kinda get the attention of the fish so we're gonna make sure it's centered roll it if we need to so then if you grab your wing buds you can kinda estimate the proportions put it next to the hook and kinda see where you need to go so this is gonna work great it's gonna ex the wing case is gonna extend just slightly back behind there. Okay. So we're going to get some more dubbing. I'm going to start getting a little chunkier with it here for the thorax. So then you're going to take your stonefly nymph legs, size large. All these materials are large, the wing case and back. They come in different sizes, but for this pattern they're large if I haven't already mentioned it. So these come on two in a pair on kind of a central leg. So I like to chop it down the middle. Leave a bit of a tab and then you can see where we're going to tie it in. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use thread to kind of set where your legs are. For me, some you know some people might give me flack for the super glue, but I find it sets them. A lot nicer, so what I usually do. Crap the hook guy here. Is tie them in by that little tab in the front there. Trim off a little bit of that. We're going to grab our super glue and run a bead down the middle of the legs, center it up, and stick it down.
I mean, like I said, some some guys have already given me a bit of flack for the super glue and that, but when you're tying it in, when you go and tie it in that way, I find it splays them out, and I just don't like the look of it. So then we're going to take our wing case. Again, it's got a little tab. Put that on the front. Tie it in. And then you can kind of pull it back and just see where everything's going to sit. So that looks good to me. So again, you can wrap it. Super glue, it's easy. It's not going to affect the motion of the fly. So just put a couple dabs. And then try to center it in one shot. And stick it down. So that's where we are right now. So then I'm going to take my thread, come up. I'm going to put one or two wraps just at that segment there just to create that little bit of a pinch. I've tried it here, but uh, it doesn't follow the line of the actual decal itself. So I'll do that there, come back behind the head, and whip finish. So you can leave it like that for a little added durability and more for the look than anything. What I like to do at this point is get some UV resin. I'm just coating it kind of makes this resin makes whatever you put underneath it pop. So if you're putting flashaboo, uh, hot spots on nymphs, flashbacks on nymphs, I find it really makes it... Uh, pop and come out. So I'm just following the contour of the sticker or decal. Try to make it a little bit fatter in the front and then drag it to the back and I just make sure everything's covered. It's got a little bit of uh, UV resin on it. So when you're happy with that, we're going to set it. So then once you've set it, I find it just brings out the color and all the detail in that wing wing bud, wing case. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got good profile, good color. You can use whatever colors you want. There's different color materials as, um, as far as the dubbing and the wing cases and, and backs and everything goes. But uh, you can kind of adapt this to what size and color your stoneflies are in your area. You can pick out the bottom a bit if you want it a little bit buggier. You know, you can switch things around, use biots for the tail, uh, you know, different materials or feathers instead of the legs. So you can kind of mix and match what works for you and try out these different materials. Um, very, very cool, semi-realistic pattern. Like I said, do, because of the size and motion, and I've looked at them in water, like put these in a glass and kind of checked out the action, what it looks like underwater, I'm pretty positive these are going to be a winner on the river. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, tie a few up. Let me know how you do with them. I hope everyone's getting ready for the spring and everyone's excited in the Great Lakes region. But again, thanks for watching. You can get all these products at uh, frostyfly.com. Tight lines.